Yo. Yo. All right, what's going on, mister? All right, I'm going to tell you what people are most likely to lie about on their dating profile, but... Okay. First, their height and their weight they, and their age. The top one. What do you think the top thing is? And whether they're married or not. That's probably a big one. What do you think the top one is? The their most height. common thing to lie about. That's what I would have thought. Too, or their but, weight. I think for well, men, their height. For women, their weight. Yep, I, I, I would have guessed the same thing. I'll tell right. you, you could be right. right. You could be wrong. But someone sent me this article because... I've mentioned in the past, there's been a handful of successful class action lawsuits lawsuits against food companies for false advertising. Oh, yeah. And people always send me ideas. Because you want to do they, that. Yeah. Uh, someone sent a, a great one a couple months ago that, uh, you know, I just don't have the follow through or know a lawyer, I guess, to get this thing started. But what happens in a lot of these cases is it's almost all of them are about... Uh, false advertising in the sense that you say it contains something or you are implying that it contains something it doesn't. Now, in this article that uh, this person sent me, there's also a whole thing about how people have been suing companies for misleading consumers about how sustainable they are as a company. Okay. Like, you know, I said something about a trash bag company got sued because they said it's great for recycling. Like, there's no, there's nothing different about this trash bag. So there's been a bunch of those. Those seem to have limited success. So we don't want those. The food ones seem to have more success. Vanilla is the most common lawsuit, but it also has the least amount of success because tons of things say they have vanilla in it, right? But they don't. Vanilla, okay. Yeah, and it turns out it's just vanilla flavoring. One of the other ones I think was uh, uh, Frito-Lay with hint of lime uh, Tostitos, and they said, you know, there's no actual lime that comes no, from it. It just says there's a hint flavor. of it. Yeah, hint of lime. They say that implies I think a hint that someone of lime. used some real lime juice no, I don't there. Know. I don't know where that, that one went. It's I'm guessing. Okay, I'd like to hear that because in my mind, when I see hint of lime, I'm like, there's no. It's some sort of lime seasoning. Well, one of them, the vanilla stuff. One of them actually said tastes like vanilla. Now, to me, that's saying it's not really vanilla. Right, of course. But the person sued and said, well, it it, it doesn't taste like vanilla because it's not coming from vanilla. I'm like, okay, mm, still, you got to. A drop. candle smells like vanilla. Right, but... right. To say it tastes like, it's like if you buy yeah. ice cream that isn't real ice cream. It says tastes like ice cream. Right. Frozen dessert. Whatever. If I said it tastes like ass. I wouldn't. Doesn't actually have right. s in it. Right. It's. I mean, it could, I guess. It's but subjective. You see, yeah. yeah, it's subjective. So in this article, they talked about uh, a bunch of these, including a TGI Fridays lawsuit. Now, there's a company that makes TGI Fridays snacks that you buy at the grocery store, the frozen stuff, right? And but it's separate from TGI Fridays. But obviously, TGI Friday puts their name on it. So when they file these claims, I guess they try and file them against both companies. The first one was they went after TGI Fridays branded onion ring snacks alleging that the manufacturer, which is, was called Inventure Foods, falsely advertised the product as onion snacks when the product does not contain any actual onions. Now, to me, again, that's not one where I would call a lawyer and be like, I think we got something here. Right. Onion snacks. I mean, maybe it should say onion flavored. I don't know. But that was back in, when did this happen? It was um, a couple of years ago, I think. And then today I see this. There is an update to another TGI Friday's lawsuit. This time, mozzarella sticks. You don't have mozzarella in them? Not a dime. No, really? What no are they having? A monster. It says, it says uh, TGI Fridays has been dropped from this lawsuit. That's the update today because they filed this thing sometime last year, but the judge was trying to decide whether or not it could move forward. TGI Friday says, hey, we don't make the food. We just put our name on it, which I assumed. Yeah, okay. Was, okay, yeah, but uh, I don't know. I I don't know how that works, but I, right, okay. I'd be worried that I could get in trouble. But the judge said, no, you guys can take your name off of it. But the case can move forward because... The mozzarella sticks apparently do not contain what any actual mo mozzarella in them. Uh, the plaintiff argues that the mozzarella uh, mozzarella is more valuable than what's contained in it, which is cheddar, I guess. And the judge sided with her in part. Uh, sorry, sided with her in part because of Parmesan. I, what is is there Parmesan in it too? Is it, it just cheddar be. and Parmesan? And again, I feel like you could have saved yourself by saying, although maybe not, but it seems like you could have saved yourself by saying mozzarella flavored. Or a mozzarella well, stick nobody flavored wants to say, snacks. Nobody wants to go to TJ Fridays and order mozzarella sticks and them say mozzarella flavored cheese sticks. It makes it like you already know you're eating poorly. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with it. But if you order like fried cheese, you're like, all right, you know, I'm not doing anything good for me. Right. And then they're like, yeah, it ain't even cheese. Right. Now, this it again, just tastes like mozzarella cheese. You're like, hmm. These are the frozen snacks you buy at home. I know. Right, just making sure people know. We're not saying that the restaurant, I don't know what's sure. in the Mott Sticks at TJ Fridays. I haven't been to one in years. But uh, she filed this in 2021. She got the mozzarella sticks from Amazon, only to find out they contained no mozzarella cheese. Mm. TGI Friday mozzarella stick snacks. How did you test it? I feel are, like it was just a gamble. That's what I want to know. 
I want to know the same thing. I think people are out there like me looking for these lawsuits, and then they mm -hmm. say, let's go test it. Remember the Subway tuna thing? Yeah. I think they probably thought, hey, what if there's no actual tuna in here? Right. Let's go get it tested. And that case was going back and forth because someone said there was no tuna, and then they did other tests and said that there was mm -hmm. tuna in it. Mm -hmm. um, but it says that the mott sticks that are sold in stores are made of uh, shelf-stable ingredients, I guess. Right. Um, TGI, uh, F, TGIF snacks are manufactured by Adventure Foods, which is the same company that was named in that onion thing, and branded with the TGIF logo. The product's packaging displays not only TGIF logo, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All of these, though, seem to pale in comparison. I'm not talking about the ones that have already won. The ginger ale thing has won people money like six different times now. For right. There's been multiple lawsuits. But the one that the guy sent me, since I'm never going to follow through with it, you have to admit, it's better than all of these. What's that? He sent me the iced tea, the brisk iced tea. Oh, yeah, there's no tea in it. There's, from what I can tell, there's no tea in it. And the one that he sent me was like, I want to say it was grape flavored or something. He goes, look at the ingredients. And this was on Instagram. He just sent me a video, and he's showing me the ingredients. I don't see that there's any tea in there. Well, well there's a lawyer somewhere. Yeah. Text us, 913-586-7965, and represent Slim Fast. And oh, you guys can be on there, Slim too. Fast V Brisk Iced Tea. Uh, yes. If we I can like get it. To work, let's do it. Let's just do it. And you know whoever owns them, Pepsi, Coke, I don't know, but they'll, they'll settle. settle. They'll settle, and we need this, guys. We've been doing this a long time, right? And I'm more well, than I'm willing sure to put an attorney there. Okay, that so. will text us and tell us. Yeah. I'm positive, and be is. willing to file this class action lawsuit. How hard can it be? Of... That's what you do for a job, like, right? Right, just to file it. Yeah. You get, what, ten percent? I don't know what an, an attorney gets. I don't. I don't either. Hey, maybe they get half. I don't know. I don't it know doesn't matter because it's not going to cost us anything to do it, right? The right. lawyer's going to do it. And a lawyer knows how to do it. That's what you do. Let's, let's get. This They're not done, all busy baby. right now. They can't be. They can't. It's Christmas time almost. Everyone, everything's quiet right now. Right? People always talk about how quiet the office is around this time. I'll bet lawyers are bet the same way. But your DUI attorneys are Probably busy. Probably quite a few. Busy. Quite a few.